So, you know, the relationship between heart disease and erectile dysfunction really is all about blood flow. So at the heart and soul of the matter is blood flow. And it won't surprise you that blood flow to the heart is important and that when there's blockage to blood flow to the heart, you can have a heart attack. But you may not know that actually erectile dysfunction is as sensitive to blood flow as well. What the studies have shown is that erectile dysfunction in a large majority of men can predate problems, any symptoms that you have with heart disease by about five years. Erectile dysfunction can often be the first sign of vascular disease. Again, vascular disease tends to cluster. Um, but one of the first signs that we see in men is erectile dysfunction. Um, and that's because the smaller vessels that are important for erectile function can actually be impacted by the same things that cause heart attacks and strokes. And then the big three things, which if uncontrolled can actually increase your risk for erectile dysfunction as it does for heart disease. And those three things are uncontrolled blood sugar or diabetes, uncontrolled blood pressure, and uncontrolled cholesterol. These three things um, are, are risk factors for heart disease just as they are for erectile dysfunction. And then the last thing, which I don't think that many people understand, is that obesity is a major risk factor for heart disease, but also for uh, erectile dysfunction. And so if you're a man that is 40, 45 years old, and you're experiencing any of the signs and symptoms of erectile dysfunction, um, while it's important for you to take care of that for quality of life, it's also going to be really key for you to make sure that your risk factors for cardiovascular disease are first um, established and then taken care of. And uh, if a man is experiencing any of the signs of erectile dysfunction, they really should be seeing uh, two doctors. Uh, one of them is a urologist and the other one is a cardiologist because, as we've just said, that these two conditions actually can run together and that that erectile dysfunction might be the very first sign that you have of any kind of cardiovascular problem. So I think we have a very unique opportunity in men's health because about 50% of the men who die from heart attacks have no symptoms of heart attacks, no chest pain. And the question is, did some of those men or a large percentage of those men have symptoms of erectile dysfunction as the first sign of heart disease? So my message to men is to take heart because with real lifestyle changes, you have this unique opportunity to impact your cardiovascular health and your quality of life by enhancing your sexual health.